My play today is Netflix. You can see shares popping today on an upgrade from CFRA. Shares up just over 5% now. The firm moving off the sidelines here, upgrading its sell rating to a buy rating, and a new price target set at $310. Analyst Ken Leon noticing, noting that it will be difficult for competitors to catch Netflix, one of the few profitable streaming providers. Leon also highlights Netflix's ad-supported tier and the company's further emphasis on limited password sharing that I think we're going to see in 2023. Now, Shauna, really, this comes counter to what we've seen from some other commentary when we hear that the ad revenue model was not the most popular option in November. Also, you've heard analysts kind of call for Netflix's shrinking subscriber, point out, I should say, Netflix's shrinking subscribers this year. It's been an interesting year for the stock, right? You see the stock down about over 50% on the year, but it's up 60% in the last six months as they've started to launch this ad tier. It seems like 2023 is going to be an interesting year for Netflix to sort of see what happens, right? Is this upturn going to continue and people sort of come up? around to this ad tier or does it not quite come to fruition? Yeah, exactly. And I think it's interesting here when, it, when in terms of the timing of this call from CFRA because we have gotten those reports that the ad tier hasn't been, I guess, as successful as maybe Netflix had initially been hoping, but it's only been a month. And I think we really need to put <laughs> right. that in perspective as well. I haven't seen a lot of marketing for this ad tier. I don't know if it's because I already have Netflix and I pay for one of the uh, more expensive subscriptions, so maybe they don't exactly want me to downgrade. But the big question with the ad tier going forward is how how many new subscribers they're going to be able to attract to that program and also if they're going to be able to keep many of this many of the subscribers that they currently have paying for the more expensive tiers. I think that's going to be critical that we don't see a huge chunk of subscribers trading down, although some analysts aren't necessarily too <laughs> concerned about that. I also thought it was interesting in Ken's note here, he talked about that he doesn't think Netflix needs a major sports event or sponsor, and that carries a risk of being a, quote, big loss leader. So we talk about Netflix not mm -hmm. really getting into sports when so many of its competitors are doing so. I don't know. Maybe it's a smart move. For One Netflix. way for Netflix to save money, right? It is. They're not spending the billions of billions dollars. Billions and billions of dollars. Certainly not a cheap thing. Thing to go after.